This is what many in Lampedusa want their island to be famous for. Its jaggedly beautiful landscape, its sparkling coves, its seafood, its traditions. Gianluca Cucina despairs that it's known instead for its repeated migration emergencies, causing uncertainty for would-be tourists and the families like his who rely on them. When tourists call, they always ask, what's the latest with migrants? And we're exhausted. We can't work in peace and promote our beautiful island. This isn't the first time that Italy has seen this kind of level of seaborne arrivals, but the difference is the proportion. Back in 2015, 2016, that number was about 8%. This year, the proportion of arrivals arriving into Lampedusa is 70%. Last week's sudden surge in numbers brought demands from Prime Minister Giorgia Meloni for an EU naval mission. Now Meloni is seeking a yet broader international response at the UN General Assembly in New York. Can we really pretend to not see that no other criminal activity in the world today is more lucrative than the trafficking of migrants when it is the UN reports themselves that have shown how this business has reached, by volume of money, the same level of drug trafficking? Back on Lampedusa, Gianluca's mother is cooking in the family restaurant. He and his father run boat trips. He says Miloni is failing, like her predecessors, to address their concerns. They need to tell us the truth. Meloni fooled us with the talk of a naval blockade which never went anywhere. That exploited Lampedusa even more. In 24 hours, more than 8,000 people arrived. The situation is now far less acute, but still hundreds of migrants arrive daily, the reception centre still well over capacity. The island's priest says its people will continue to do what they can to treat them with dignity. Lampedusa's people are not tired of migrants. In fact, we've seen more cases of emergency and the welcome has remained the same. The people are tired of political power that doesn't take note of the real emergency, guaranteeing dignity to everyone. But others here talk of a general shift towards a harder line. At a public meeting on Wednesday, persistent rumours resurfaced that the government wants to build a repatriation centre here, housing people who don't qualify for asylum for up to 18 months. Gianluca says that would destroy the island and that he would use any means to fight it. Harry Fawcett, Al Jazeera, Lampedusa. Make sure to subscribe to our channel to get the latest news from Al Jazeera.